Hey, welcome back to Resident Evil uh, Marcus Plays Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we finished off Atlantica and got that sweet new Thunder upgrade. Check this out, boy. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at all that damage we just took. Uh, just dished out, rather. Look at all that. So, I mentioned in the last episode that my car had broken down, right? Well, this is the same day as that recording, so this is just like afterwards. So I'll tell you what happened. So we went to check out the car, me and Steve, that is, my buddy Steve, who I am eternally grateful for, for uh, helping me, uh, for helping me basically just push this car that's pretty much, you know, kind of dead. Yeah, we checked and yeah, it didn't start again, so we brought our buddy Keith along for the ride. Um, and uh, yeah, what we did instead was totally illegal. Uh, wait, wait what, the, what the fuck's the book at? Oh, here it is. So what we did was totally illegal and I highly advise that you do it. But if you must do it under like very controlled circumstances, which we kind of did. So, what we did was, we brought Steve's car, and, wait, hold on, um, we were, we were here last time, this is where we were once before, um, I guess it's a new area, okay. It's been a while since I've been hungry, good, whatever. So, anyway, um, we brought along Steve's car, and what we did basically was, that we used his car to push mine. We had our buddy Keith, like, kind of manage, like, the way that the car would turn whenever we would make sharp turns, like, taking a left or a right. Um, so, oh, hey, Pooh Bear. So, um, yeah, it was, the, the ride I mentioned before from to where my car was parked and where I live was, like, Maybe about five or seven minutes away, which is not bad. But take that into consideration when uh, I'll finish the story. Hold on. Who's been calling and calling? But the house says no one's there. The house says no one's there, huh? Hmm. Nobody's home. I don't know, Pooh. Why don't you go check? That's right. Nobody's. That's right. Nobody. Huh, curious. The the house actually spoke. Hmm. I wonder if there's someone inside. Who is this person named Nobody? Nobody? Have you seen Rabbit? No, no Rabbit here. There's no one here. <laughs> He's a liar. Dirty, filthy liar. You're a dirty, filthy liar. Hello, rabbit. Dirty, filthy liar. Why? Poo, poo, poo. What is? What a pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too, Piglet. And hi. Uh, tonight, the part of Chris and Robin will be played by a very tall boy with spiky hair. Is this a new friend? Why, yes, it is. I'm a new friend. Poo, poo. I'm sorry, but I'm all out of honey at the moment. Sora, do you smell honey? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm i not exactly fond of honey, so I wouldn't go around and smell. I just saw something up there. Oh, wait, hold on. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> honey? Now, how did that get up there? Gee, I, I wonder, Rabbit. Pooh, would you like some? Would you like some, Pooh? Don't, don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, thank you, Rabbit. Oh, just like a small smack roll. I'm quite hungry. <laughs> um, Pooh Bear. You're not eating the whole pot, are you? Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? Yeah, he's just... He's just going to town over there. I'm so glad to have found both Rabbit and some honey. Uh, do I touch the rabbit now? Oh, how did I find you again? Uh, maybe if I talk to Piglet. 
So the rabbit came back too, but someone's still missing. Some places in the Hundred Acre Wood are gone too. Oh, w w what to do? Yeah, how, how freaky is that? Some of these guys' friends are gone. Like, how would you feel if, like, some unknown force of nature, like, took away all of your friends? I would go berserk. I would go bonkers, honestly. I love my friends. Uh, do I just... Do I just keep talking to them? Alright. But yeah, I'll finish up the story in a second. Yeah, you already said that. Do I need to talk to Pooh again? What do I need to do? Cause, let's see. I talk... Yeah, he says, oh, out of honey again. Ah, uh, what... What the fuck do I do? Oh wait, there's another thing of honey up there. Can I walk on a wood and like examine it? No? Um there has to be something. I love how the water looks. It's like very stylized as well. Help, please help put Oh, was I supposed to exit the world? Was that what the What? How would I know to do that? Oh, poo! Look at you, you're all fat now! Oh, help and bother. I'm stuck again. You mean this has happened before? Jeez, poo. I came in through this hole, so I must have shrunk. What? Oh, it must have shrunk. Oh, I thought you said he shrunk. Otherwise, yeah, you would fit through that hole if you shrunk. If Pooh doesn't slow down, my house, my house will stay plugged forever. What the fuck? Uh, Rabbit, your, ho your house is not plugged up. You clearly have a front door right here. Oh, uh, is there something in the mailbox? The letter inside. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. Pooh. <laughs> That's really funny. Um... I was almost certain there was like some chests around here. If not, I might be mistaking chests being here from Kingdom Hearts 2. God, it's been a while since I played that. I haven't played that in like years now. Oh, what the fuck? I just noticed something. I clearly have the high jump equipped, but. My jump reverts back to what it was before, for some reason. That's weird. There's no chest around here? Really? Alright. Oh, how will I eat honey if I'm stuck here? Well, it's lunchtime. Perhaps you could bring me a honey jar. No honey till you're unstuck. If Pooh doesn't slip down my head... Yeah, you already said that. Wait, I know. A bit of carrot top juice will do the trick. Wait, what? How will that help? Are you using that as lubricant or like, will it make him lose weight? Oh no, oh no what? Oh, it's Tigger! Oh, he's breaking shit. Oh, God bless you, Jim Cummings. I don't think I've ever seen you before. That's uh, referring to Tigger's voice actor, by the way. Who also voices Pooh. He's one very talented voice actor. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? Why, bouncing around is a lot more fun. No, Tigger, it's not a new exercise. In fact, it's the opposite of exercise. He actually just gained weight. Instead of losing it with exercise. Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared. So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground. <laughs> oh boy. 
Tigger's bouncing will ruin my vegetables. If we don't give Pooh some care top juice, he'll be stuck forever. Please help me keep Tigger away. Hold on, what the f Um, hold on a second. Hold on one gosh darn second. Sorry, there was um there was a uh, there was a spider in my rec room. Like a very, very tiny one, like the size of a fruit fly. Just like floating like right in front of me from like a like a whip somewhere. I don't know where it is. Whatever, that was weird. Yeah, we gotta stop Tigger. So Oh hey, there's Owl with the solution. Is it some sort of minigame? Sorry, you'll have to protect this pair. Uh, carrot patch. Tigger bounces on a carrot twice, it'll be buried. Can you just dig it back up? Once? Twice. Yes, I know what twice is, Owl. If we can comprehend how the world's disappeared in this game's storyline, then I'm pretty sure we can comprehend the concept of twice. Just like that. Yeah, thanks, Owl, for fucking already <laughs> dampening my progress. Asshole. Alright, tell me. Tell me, Owl. Simply get to the carrots before Tigger lands on them. There are 50 carrots here. Well, there's fucking 14 now since you already got one. So your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block Tigger. And one more thing. What? What? There's always one more thing. What? Tell me. Enlighten me. Oh, there's the stupid rush command because these mini games are clearly not thought out. Alright, cool. So what I had to do is stand in front of him. I wasn't even paying attention because I was totally distracted by... Uh, excuse me, jeez. Oh, okay, so... Oh, shit, wrong one. Stop, Tigger! Crap, wrong one. Ah, oh, man, I wish this were a top-down view. What? I just blocked him just by standing right in front of him. Oh, come on! Yeah, this rush command ain't doing dilly squat. I don't even t stop, Tigger. The way this mini game plays it out, it's like he's like deliberately doing it on purpose. Oh my god! Tigger, stop! Tigger, no, please, Tigger, please. Uh, did I win? I'm just blocked. Carrot save 12. Uh, do, do I win? Hey, you kept up pretty good there, Sora. I, gu I guess I won. Man, that mini game was uberly stupid. Again, if this were a top down view, then I I'd do this like no problem. Thank you so much. Now I better make the carrot top juice. Alright, cool. Are you gonna. Oh, I'll wait inside the house. Okay. So to finish up the story, um, so the, 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 how this plays out is that my car was like seven minutes away by normally driving. So, um, yeah, we basically had to make this trip without being stopped by the cops because mind you, what, 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 what we were doing here was like highly illegal. So pretty much, um, we were able to do this without being stopped by the cops. And yeah, throughout the entire way, I was like keeping up like communication with Steve via phone. And literally this was like some stuff that we were doing straight out of like smoke, uh, smoking the bandits. Not exactly, but like sort of the same nature of it. And like all I was thinking to myself is like, wow, how like we are so lucky. Like, we were basically taking, uh, taking neighborhood streets at first. Um, but... Oh, there's no new Summit Gym? Alright, that's fine. But we were, like, uber 
uber lucky that we weren't stopped by the cops at all. So how this works was that he was pushing my car in his, and I was having Keith's help with like the turning and stuff. So luckily this all fared out like perfectly. Like we didn't get stopped by the cops at all. There wasn't any damage at all whatsoever to, there was no damage whatsoever to like the car. Well, like except like a few marks here and there, but they're easy to clean off. Like there's nothing substantial. But, um, yeah. So bottom line is my car is boned. However, that may not be entirely true. I'll have to wait till morning in order to like try to start it up again. If it doesn't, then I am officially boned. If I wasn't boned enough already. So, pretty much like I am eternally grateful to Steven for helping me as well as as well as Keith. Like those two like if it weren't for them, then my I would have been boned. I would have had to like actually call a tow truck, which I didn't. But um, hey, let's let's keep that a little secret between you and me, huh? No one needs to know about this. I think out of the three of us, um, outside of the three of us, no one really knows, which is which is really good. Let's let's keep it that way, shall we? Oh man, I'm just like super lucky that I wasn't stopped at all and like the thing is, right? My car got stuck on a bridge. I don't think I clarified that. Oh, there's uh there's new stuff. Oh a defense up. Oh we don't have any materials for it though. Uh was Messer here there before? Oh no. Uh what else we got? Uh there's nothing we can make yet. Yeah, some of these items we're gonna get like in like two levels from now. Actually, no, I, I stand corrected. Three levels from now. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and see if like if I can. Oh, actually, I should check to see if I can get anything new from the item chef, Donald Goofy. Uh, I don't think I clarified this before, but I don't think I clarified this before, but from where my car got stopped, or at least like where uh, it broke down, it was on the bridge. It was on a bridge like midpoint from where from where I was going to, because where I was going, I was going to to go to the Jiffy Loop and like get an oil and coolant change. And in order to go there, I had to cross this bridge. So, the only reason why we didn't get out and push was because one, that would have been like even slower than, it would have been like even slower than actually, uh, than actually bumping the car. Because when we were bumping the car, we were going at max like 20, 22 miles per hour. Which is still pretty slow. And we needed that extra boost. Other, we needed the extra boost from the car. Otherwise, we would never have made it up to... We would never have made it up that, um, that bridge. Because it like goes on an incline. <sighs> but yeah, what a night this was. So, we have some time to spare. I don't know if, like, uh, I don't know. Whenever I do 100 Acre Wood, I always try to find some way to stall, so. We're just going to go ahead and discover this new world that's, like, you know, open to us now. We're still riding around in the new and improved Octopussy until I upgrade it again. Actually, um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Like, off camera, I'm just gonna, like, make a couple new gummy ships. Because I said before that I thoroughly enjoy, I, I thoroughly enjoy building gummy ships, like... I know a lot of people, like, hate the gummy sections, 
But to me, like they're actually kind of fun. I mean, the gameplay itself isn't that isn't that spectacular. But the fact that you can make your own ships and stuff, that to me is like that to me is just fine enough as it, as it is. Because, like I said, I I enjoy Legos very much, and I've always like enjoyed games where you can make your own vehicles. Like a lot of people give a lot of shit for banjo. Uh, Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts for like focusing on vehicle gameplay instead of platforming, and yeah, while I I really do want like a true successor to Banjo Kazooie, um, I actually did not mind uh, Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts like all that. I didn't really mind it too too badly. I mean, granted, yeah, like it's not the game that you know I wanted to play, but. From what I got, it's okay. It's definitely not a Banjo Kazooie game in all sense of the word, if you if you, if you can even call it a word. But it's still enjoyable to me. And what's this world? Oh my god! It's it's motherfucking Halloween Town, dude. I've said before that Nightmare for Christmas is my favorite movie of all time. That rings so much more true, truer, um, I, I lost train of thought, sorry. Anyway, Nightmare for Christmas is my definite favorite movie of all times. Like, this, this movie basically shaped the way that, like, I would play out the course of my life, basically. Um, just to vent even more, Nightmare for Christmas, like, means, like, a whole lot to me. Uh, not not just in the, in the fact that like it inspired me to, you know, make movies, but also like pursuing my own vision basically. Uh, the reason why is because at the time, uh, 1993, that is when Nightmare for Christmas came out. The thing about Nightmare for Christmas was that it was like one of the first stop motion movies that was feature length. I think in like a while, I think like the last couple were. Um, the last couple were like those Breaking Bass uh, Christmas specials, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and all that stuff. I wouldn't even know if you would count those as feature films, honestly. I forgot how long they were. But Nightmare for Christmas like took a like a bold stand. Not only was like this material like not entirely dark, but like kind of scary for some kids. But just like all the imagery and the fact that it was using this animation style which was like very seldom used at the time now like there's like this huge kick on getting more stop-motion films into the animation industry but at the time Nightmare for Christmas was like one of those only ones the only one to come after it was James and the Giant Peach which was a hybrid in itself but the fact of the matter is what I'm trying to say is that Nightmare for Christmas took like a huge bold risk on like so many different levels and like it was taking a risk when animation was still, you know, just trying to become mainstream again. It wasn't until like Disney put out Little Mermaid where it actually became mainstream again. Because for a while after Walt Disney died, animation was like turning for the worse. Like people were giving less and less shits about it, and like everyone was basically not seeing them. Like you hear like all these like kids on Tumblr, whether they be you know, 10 years old or like 17 years old, that kind of generation would never go to see a Disney movie, like back in those days, like back before The Little Mermaid was released. It wasn't until like Who Framed Roger Rabbit where like people started to appreciate animation again. And the fact that Nightmare for Christmas came out at the exact time that I think benefited it the most was phenomenal. It's such a great movie and like it inspired me to you know, take a risk of my own and pursue filmmaking. And the fact that Nightmare for Christmas is such, like, a different film, given that, you know, it's not only using stop motion, but it's also got this art style, which is very inspired by Tim Burton's artwork and inspired by German Expressionism and all this sort of stuff. The fact that it had such a different look to it was enough in order to get my creative juices flowing and come up with stories of my own and that's the reason why 
I've always wanted to become a filmmaker because it inspired me to tell my own stories and just pursue that dream. And the fact that Halloween Town is in Kingdom Hearts is fucking awesome. Let's just let's just leave it at that, all right? I mean, <laughs> like these past few episodes had just been me venting on and on about like life and crap and yeah. This is like twice in a row that I've had to stop myself just to like get this all out. I mean, hey, that's what that's what, you know, making videos is kind of about is putting your thoughts into words and putting it on the internet to be heard, I, I guess. Oh man, we we still got like six minutes on the clock. I, I'm just gonna end it off right here. I mean, I'm, I don't really care. I mean, we, we've completed Andre Dacre Woods' torn page. We still need a couple more, but um, yeah. So, in the next episode, we are going to disembark into Halloween Town. So, in, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.